Boys, it's come to my attention that a lot of you have no idea what you're talking about, okay? On the last video I posted of the $70,000 job that we made 10% profit, at the end, $7,000, a lot of you were appalled, shocked. You were flabbergasted and you kept saying that I was entitled to more money and I was not charging enough. You really have no idea what you're talking about, okay? Now, before I offend you and before you get angry at me and leave the video, let me just share with you some things that I've learned in the seven years that I've been doing business and why 10% is a great offer. I wish it was 30%, but it never is. No matter how many times I run the numbers, it always ends up to 10%. And if I bid the job above 10%, I never get the job. Sometimes I get the job because the customer likes me. Most of the time, I don't. And to be honest, most of the time right now, I don't get the job because <laughs> I'm bidding too high. And I'll share some things with you later. But first, what I gotta do is uh, I need to go spend some more money. So let's go inside and spend some money. So a lot of you want to run a business like this. Very nice truck, F-350, limited, $100,000, shiny rims, brand new tires, drives like a Cadillac. This is a Cowboys Cadillac. Howdy, partner. Is what my redneck neighbor told me once when I got my yellow armadillo, my F-350 armadillo. Here's a picture. When he saw the truck, he said, that's a Cowboys Cadillac, boy. But in reality, this is how you run your business, like this truck. All beat up busted, you don't know your numbers, you don't have a software, you don't calculate overhead correctly, you don't budget for things that you're supposed to budget for, like mistakes happening on job sites, you can go back to fix stuff, vacations, business trips, you don't budget for any of that. This is how you actually run your business, and this is how you think you run your business. Now, before I get you mad and you leave the video again, let me just tell you that for the past five years, ah, for the past six years, I've been running my business like this. Joe Byron. <laughs> and now I'm running the business like this. For the first time ever, I've gotten on Facebook just about a month ago. Oh, really? Period. Oh, wow. This should tell you why. Oh, that's your phone? That's... You need to clean. guys breaking into this trailer 100 percent look at this look at this <laughs> he's even looking around like what <laughs> ah we got him caught red-handed <laughs> You caught me stealing a fucking bear. Did he get mad at you? Yeah, did he did. I got, caught, I got caught stealing a berry. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't happy. Mm -hmm. Tell us your review. What do you think of the trailer? It's nice. <laughs> <laughs> Boys, about the berry story. I have a tendency to go steal fruit from people and I do it on Instagram all the time. If you don't know, obviously you do know, I have an obsession with fruits. So when I saw this, I couldn't help myself. I'm like a crackhead. I need to go get it. So I, I went and I reached over and there was a bunch of red berries. And if you know anything about fruit, you can't disrespect the berries. They're red, they're not ready, but I saw a black one and I reached in and I plucked it. Out of nowhere, this guy popped up with his eyes. What do you think you're doing? And I'm like, uh, e, uh, ooh. I've never been caught red-handed stealing fruit. I don't know. I was never even confronted, right? So I was like, I sorry, I apologize. I'm sorry. I shouldn't have done that. And he's like, next time it will be your finger. Ah! I was like, <laughs> sorry. And he's like, don't be doing that. You're stepping on people's property. I'm like, and that's when you saw me. He said, No, you're right. You're right. I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh, you're absolutely right. I can't. I, I don't have any excuses. My apologies. And I walked away. But dude, that caught me off guard for sure. Next, this right here, this trailer. I wanna speak to you, this is, this is why I named the video Raise Your Fucking Prices. So a lot of you don't understand inflation. Most Americans don't understand inflation. Here's, here's the problem with inflation, okay? I bought this trailer, this exact trailer, in 2020, in April of 2020, when the whole world was freaking out. Everybody was losing their mind. Economy was tanking. 
I pulled the trigger on this trailer and I bought this exact trailer for 18,000, okay? Now I called back the exact same place in March of next year, so about eight, nine months later, and they told me that this trailer was backed up, it was on back order. This is when all wood shortages were happening, nails, everything, right? Everyone, now it was true chaos. And they said, this trailer is backed up and it's about eight months. And I said, okay, I still wanna order it. And they said, okay. And I said, can I come and buy it? And they said, we have to get a number for you. So today, they sold me the exact same trailer for $28,000. I lost $10,000 on a trailer. The exact same trailer. There is no difference on the trailer. This is why I keep saying you have to raise your prices because if I was charging uh, irrigation pre-corona, I was charging five, six dollars for uh, a square foot of grass and irrigation. Now I'm charging nine, ten dollars And some of you would say that's absurd, that's insane. But dude, you have no idea how expensive materials are. You have no idea how much expensive fuel is. In California, we're paying almost $7 a gallon. Yesterday, I went to go put fuel in my truck. I put $100 in and the stupid thing has a limit. Gas stations are dumb as hell. They have a limit. You put your card in, they only let you pump $100. I got a quarter tank of fuel. I was bone dry. I was like four miles to empty and I got a hundred dollars quarter tank of fuel. It was embarrassing. Now I said, whatever. I don't have patience to wait. So I just left. This is what inflation is. You can buy less for the same amount of money. A hundred dollars is still worth a hundred dollars, but you can't get as much for that hundred dollars. Now this brings me to my next point. You have to know your numbers. This is what I didn't know. And I'm very thankful for Goking and people in there because there are people in there that are much smarter than me. Now I'm, a, I'm just a YouTuber. I'm a doofus. I'm just, like I'm not the smartest person in the room and I never will be and I never was and I never claimed to be. However, I do bring incredible people into my life that know what they're doing. And one of them was Ian. So Ian's from Massachusetts, Boston. I, you guys saw a video where we toured his uh, construction job sites. He does amazing work and he's much older than me. He can pretty much be my dad. This is the joke I have. I'm like, bro, you can be my dad. He was 25 when I, when I was born. I, think. I don't know. He was 25 when I was born, something like that. He could 100% be my dad, but he's cool as hell, but he's very knowledgeable and he's so smart. And he is a accountant, pretty much. He went to school to be an accountant. So he developed this whole thing of know your numbers. And I didn't know that I should be budgeting for business trips. I didn't know that I should be budgeting for mistakes when jobs happen. And if you're a guy watching right now, you're like, oh, I knew about this. I'm the best. Well, you're an idiot because I highly doubt you do that. I have an open mind and I'm willing to listen to people when they're telling me I'm doing things wrong. And when I took his class, Know Your Numbers course, I was blown away. His freaking spreadsheet was insane. So number one, without a doubt, I was not budgeting for mistakes that happen to jobs that we have to go back for to fix, okay? I was not budgeting for business trips. I was not budgeting for flights. I was not budgeting for hotels. I was not budgeting for food. I wasn't budgeting for a lot of things. And then once I took the thing, I'm like, damn bro, my labor for hourly that I was charging was way lower. I was only making like $15 per man, per, man per hour. And in my area, like $90 an hour is not enough. I know a lot of you are like, oh, we should be charging $90 an hour. Maybe in your area, yes. And all depending on your overhead because there are people in your town that have massive companies and $90 an hour, they'd be losing money. So for me to make money, I need to be charging 110, 120, 130 a man. Now that might seem crazy to you, but once you start to know your numbers and once you start to understand the overhead and the profit margins, you start to get it. Like that's when it clicked for me. Brings me to my next point, okay? I was always doing proposals on, on the computer and Word documents and it got me to where I am today. For a lot of you, this program that I made about contracts has changed your life, changed your business, changed like, when I used to send it to customers, they, oh wow, it's so detailed, so amazing. This is great, I understand everything. Cause I didn't use big words, I just said pavers, excavate, base rock, drainage, blah, blah, blah. Everything was very simple. And that's why people liked it and I sold so many of them and it helped me tremendously. But, brings me to my next point, the software. The software for your business is so important and I wish I would've had this previously. Now a lot of you have heard of Jobber and uh, LMN. One thing that the 1% does differently is that you put all of your overhead, all of your labor costs, and it bills per hour instead of doing everything per square foot. Example, exhibit A. Let me show you because this blew my mind once I understood it and I was like, holy shit. Easy, right here. Now, this is what this is what the software looks like and I'm telling you, I wish I had this when I started because it would have made everything a lot easier because I didn't know my labor rate. I was just kind of guessing. I know it kind of sounds crazy and you might be like, T, you're a professional YouTuber, but I guarantee you most YouTubers that do landscaping don't know their labor rate. And this is when 
This year, especially, I have transitioned from being a amateur landscaper to now I'm becoming a professional. Like, boys, I am gonna build a huge, successful business that doesn't require me. <laughs> That's what I'm most excited for. I'm already, like, things are happening. Things are happening. There's so many things are happening. And I am so sick and tired of everything on my shoulders. I need things on everyone else's shoulders. This is why we need a software. This is why we need good people around us. And this is why we need to have systems in place. So when you look at when you look at the business, you're like, oh, 10%, that's whack. But dude, in reality, if you're out there in the field working with your employees, yeah, you're gonna be making 30%. But you can't scale. You can't let the tools down. You can't get out of being on the field every day. Like I need to do office stuff. I need to hang out with uh, Bree. I need to hang out with Jose. I need to go to the, the meetings. I can't be doing what you're doing or what I was doing five years ago. I have a famous saying in Goking. If you're doing the exact same thing as you were last year, you're the problem. I'm not doing what I was doing last year. My life has completely evolved, changed, altered. 120, 180, 360. No, 360 would be in the same place. 180. I have done a complete 180. 720, how about that? Even better. 720? Is no, that 360 no, times that's 360 times two. You're I have done a 540. 540. I have done a 540, okay? <laughs> he's, he's moved a lot. Yeah, yeah I've moved a lot. <laughs> now, this particular job, this is an example, okay? 405,000. $245,000 is gonna cost me, okay? The software estimates 17%, but this is before all of the budgets that we have to play in account. So after everything is done, everything, everything is set, it goes around 10, 12%, and that is good. Look at all of the, uh, so gross profit on this job is 40%, you know, $70,000 on a $400,000 job. That's what you YouTubers on the comments are saying, that's amazing, I profit 40%. Yeah, so do I but you're forgetting to do all the deductions, all the estimating, all the planning, okay? And this is why this software is amazing because look at this, natural stone right here. I'm charging 47 bucks a square foot for the stone. Porcelain, okay, great offer. Porcelain, $27,000 for cost, charging 35 grand. Concrete, 21,000 for cost, charging 27,000. Thin set, like it has all of the, the breakdown, okay? Watch this, pergola, 442 square foot pergola, Boom, 34,000. What is that, like 90 bucks a square? Maybe. Like look at all of the items that we have. And then once you go to the contract preview, this is what the homeowner gets. When they actually get the bid, right? This is how it looks. This looks a lot better than what you're sending your homeowners, I can promise you that. This looks a lot better than LMN. This looks a lot better than Jobber, all, this, all these things. This looks professional. It looks really cool too. Pergola, wow, what a great offer. This is what I'm gonna get. Artificial turf. Wow. Oh, uh, we, we don't get a nice picture. Okay. Um, no, wooden planter box. Look at that. Boom. Honestly, you can go in here and change it to all your pictures. This is what I, I mean, I, I do have to do that. Drainage pit. Okay, this is just a, a linear drain. You can go in there and edit everything. So it's super worth it. Very worth it. Boy, so, I mean, it's pretty simple, dude. Get on the bandwagon, get on the train. I have been through everything you've been through, especially if you're new to business. I've literally been through all the ups and downs, okay? And I've made it this far. I know what I'm doing. Or I don't know everything I'm doing, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't know everything I'm doing, but I know a majority of the things that I'm doing. And if I don't know, I seek counsel and I ask people that are better than me, hey, how can you help me? And that's what GoKing's all about. So number one, definitely join GoKing. Obviously, I always plug GoKing. You'd be like, T, stop plugging GoKing. How can I? GoKing's amazing. 730 people in there, and every single day I go in there, people are like, dude, GoKing is life-changing, life-changing, life-changing. And I said, I know. That was the whole point of GoKing. That was the whole goal. And we've achieved our goal, and we're going to achieve many other targets and goals. Now, number two, definitely get the software. There's a seven day free trial. I asked Shiloh if he can do me a favor and do a seven day tr free trial and he said yes. You know, I wanna, I wanna enlighten people because a lot of you guys are lost and I was lost when I started. So I was like, can you please do a, like some kind of free trial? And he said, dude, it's a nightmare to do free trials. I'm like, bro, just do a free trial, seven day free. It's not even a big deal. And then he said, okay. So I told him it was two days ago, he figured it out. The website's gonna be bidjobsbetter.com and there's a link below. All you have to do is go there. It's a seven day free trial. Literally, you go in there and you plug in all your numbers. If you wanna see how I do the bids, go to how T does bids. I have a free course 
right? Free course, it's free for you. But if you wanna go and get the seven day free trial, bidjobsbetter.com, and you will have everything at your fingertips, all the questions, sign up, you're gonna get a Zoom call if you want it, if you don't want it, hey, whatever. I know sometimes I don't want to, I just wanna see how it works, but this shit is easy, I promise you. Have I ever let you down? That's the question you gotta ask yourself. You watch my videos, but the question is, have I ever let you down? In the seven years, have I ever let you down? <laughs> <laughs> In the seven years, have I ever let you down? See? Tell us you. <laughs> Tell us you. I won't let you down. So trust me, this stuff works. You're going to have great success with it. Give it a try and then reach out to me on Instagram and tell me. Dude, by the way, you guys can actually reach out to me. I know some of you get nervous or like you get weird. Oh, I, I want to text he, but he won't answer. Bro, I always answer. Just hit me up on Instagram. Hit me up on Facebook and I'll answer. Tell me something, tell me something. Like, dude, I was watching your video four years ago and that one time where you installed that beer keg and you were drinking it, that was pretty badass. I wanna drink a beer with you, T. I'm like, bet, let's do it, let's drink a beer. Anyway, let's sign up for the video. This, gone, this shit's gone too long. HowTDoesBids.com, I show you how I do everything, okay? Learn, you need to start investing in yourself. And BidJobsBetter.com, seven day free trial. I did it against Shiloh's will. I twisted his arm and I punched him and I said, get it done for me. He, didn't, he was very reluctant, but he got it done. So we got the seven day trial for you boys. Hit it, message me, let me know how it goes. Peace. Also truck giveaway, I'm giving away a truck in June, July. I don't know when, but stay tuned. <laughs>